Rolling. And now, the news. I-P-3-T-V. This is Carl Malamud reporting for IP3TV. Living inside the Beltway, this will probably come as a big surprise to many of you, but believe it or not, the truth is America's operating system, the laws and regulations of the 50 states and of the United States, America's operating system is not open source. That's right, we are indeed a nation of laws, but in their infinite wisdom, the lawyers of America, at least the ones with money, have locked America's operating system up behind a cash register. You can't find the law on the internet. If you want to search our laws, Google won't do it. You need that special rich man's Google. LexisNexis and Westlaw have been moving their fences deep into the public domain, carving up our national jurisprudence into private parcels, buying off the judiciary with a few free books and a couple of usernames for their clerks. Meanwhile, the rest of the world, public interest lawyers, solo practitioners, government lawyers and bureaucratic backwaters not blessed with the deluxe packages, ordinary citizens even, the rest of us get nothing, squat, zip. If you have to ask the price, you can't afford it. Affordable prices. Unmatched value. It's our biggest sales event. We're back. This is Carl Malamud reporting from outside the Beltway. Here in Code City, deep inside the heartland, I can report that a revolution in legal affairs is sweeping the nation. All across the country, people are taking the law into their own hands. Tim Wu and the outlaw crew from Columbia and Colorado have built a system for the appellate courts. Cornell provides a U.S. code. W.S. Hine has donated the federal cases. LLMC provided the federal reporter. And it isn't just industry and academia. GPO was kind enough to allow us to hoover their databases, and the Copyright Office cleared up the confusion on copyright protection on the copyright registration database, a concept that seemed to make sense in Washington but wasn't too clear to the rest of us. And on Labor Day, public safety codes for jurisdictions all across the country were posted on the internet. Believe it or not, the public safety codes, building codes, fire, plumbing, electrical, elevator safety, these are the laws that most directly affect our daily lives, yet were totally unavailable. Every realtor, every contractor, every homeowner is expected to know and obey these codes. Truly in this case, code is law. A slippery slope of asserting copyright over the public domain has reached the point of the surreal with technical standards such as public safety codes, communication standards, mechanical standards, civil engineering, public safety. The law has become so expensive, even libraries are priced out of the market. Did you know there is only one library in the entire United States with a decent collection of technical specs from groups such as Underwriters Laboratories or ANSI, the American National Standards Institute? Yet, the Code of Federal Regulations is peppered throughout with incorporations by reference of these standards and all our states lean heavily on this body of the law. The courts have been clear that if we are to be a nation of laws, there can be no copyright over our primary legal materials. The public domain doesn't just happen. Like our public parks, it has to be cultivated and defended. You too can help recover our public domain. America's operating system, it's not just a good idea, it's a law. For IP3TV, this is Carl Mallard. Hello and thank you. God bless public knowledge. God bless the public domain. They told me to say this. Code is law. Copy that code.